Welcome to Vteach. In this video, I am going to discuss about the statistical independence of two random variables. If A and B are two events, and if we say A and B are statistically independent, means probability of A intersection B, that is the joint event, must be equals to the product of individual probabilities, that is probability of A into probability of B. Then A and B are called statistically independent events. So, in terms of conceptually, we can explain this as a the probability of happening of one event A does not affect the probability of happening of B. So, that is the uh, meaning of the independent events. The same concept can be extended to the random variables. That means, if two random variables X and Y are statistically independent, if and only if their joint event, the joint event defined that is probability of X intersection X less than or equals to X comma Y less than or equals to Y. If that is equals to the product of individual probabilities, that is probability of x less than or equals to x into probability of y less than or equals to y. So, then those two random variables x and y are called statistically independent. That means, this probability of joint event is nothing but joint distribution function. That means, if joint distribution function of x and y is equals to the product of marginal density functions, then x and y are said to be independent event. The same condition holds for the density function also. That means, the joint density function small f, small f that is f x y of x comma y is equals to the product of marginal density functions that is f x of x into f y of y is the necessary condition for the independent random variables. Similarly, if we apply the same concept for the conditional distribution or conditional density functions that is f x of x by y is joint probability that is probability of x and y by p of y, y less than or equals to y. If x and y are statistically independent, this joint distribution function can be written as the product of individual distributions. So, f x of x by y is equals to f x of x. Similarly, f y of y by x is equals to f y of y. That means, if x and y are independent, the conditional distribution function x by y is equals to the marginal density in x. The same holds for distribution also. Similarly, f y of y by x is f y of y and in terms of distributions also f y of y by x less than or equals to x is equals to f y of y for statistically independent case. So, in with one problem we will check whether the given from the given density function how to check the x and y are independent random variables. Here the joint density function is given as 1 by 12 into u of x into u of y into e power minus x by 4 minus y by 3. It means here the no limits are given for x and y. That means the density function itself is having u of x and u of y. That means x value is greater than or equals to 0 and y value is also greater than or equals to 0. Since step function means it exists its validity is for positive values of x and uh, positive values of y. For x greater than or equals to 0, u of x is 1 and for y greater than or equals to 0, u of y. These are called unit step functions. So, now find the marginal density functions f x of x and f y of y. From that, if the product of marginal density functions are equals to the joint density function, then we can conclude x and y are statistically independent random variables. So, to check that statistical independence, first let us calculate the marginal densities. That means f x of x. So, f x of x can be that is marginal density in terms of x can be evaluated from the joint density function by integrating the joint density with respect to y. So, take the y limits that means integral 0 to infinity the density function into y. So, other variables like x the functions which involves x and 1 by 12 are constants that is 1 by 12 e of x into e power minus x by 4 is constant integration of e power minus y by 3, e power minus y by 3 by minus 1 by 3 limits are from infinity to 0, substitute these limits then we will get 1 by 4 u of x into e power minus x by 4 is the marginal density function in x. Similarly, find the marginal density function in y that is f y of y. So, that is integral minus infinity to infinity f x y of x comma y dx that means integration is with respect to x to find the density function in y. That means, limits of x are 0 to infinity the density function given density function. So, integration is with respect to x. 
So the other variable, the functions which involves other variable that is u of y into e power minus y by 3. Integral 0 to infinity, the density function 1 by 12 into u of y into e power minus x by 4 e power minus y by 3 dx. Integration is since integration is with respect to x, the y functions that means u of y into e power minus y by 3 are constants and 1 by 12 is also a constant. So integration e power minus x by 4 by minus 1 by 4 substitute upper limit as minus upper limit is infinity and lower limit is 0. By substituting this we will get 1 by 3 into u of y into e power minus y by 3. This is marginal density function in y. Already we have evaluated marginal density function in x. So by multiplying these two, the product of these two gives 1 by 12 into u of x into u of y into e power minus of x by 4 plus y by 3, which is nothing but the joint density function. So since marginal product of marginal density functions is equals to the joint density, so here x and y are statistically independent. So we will see one more problem, which is fxy of x comma y is given as 4xy into e power minus of x square plus y square. Again, limits are given in terms of unit step functions, u of x and u of y. That means again, x greater than or equals to 0 and y greater than or equals to 0 are the limits. Now, find this is a different problem. Find the conditional density functions for the given joint density function. This is density. Joint density is given. So, find the marginal, uh, sorry, conditional density functions. So, from the definition, we know f x y, f of x by y, that means conditional density, where y is conditioning event is joint density function by f of y. Similarly, f of y by x, in this case, x is the conditioning event. So, in denominator, we get marginal density function in x. So, to find out the conditional density functions, so we need to evaluate the marginal density functions, that is f x of x and f y of y. So, f x of x, that is marginal density in x. So, integrate this with respect to y. So, limits are from 0 to infinity, the given density function into u of x dy. So, since integration is with respect to y, so x functions and 4 are constants. The remaining term is integral 0 to infinity y into e power minus y square dy. So, its integration is 1 by 2. So, after simplifying, we will get the fx of x value is 2x e power minus x square into u of x. Similarly, evaluating fy of y in the similar lines, that means fy of y can be calculated as integral minus infinity to infinity fxy of x comma y integration is with respect to x. Since the density function is in y, so we have to integrate the joint density function with respect to x. So after evaluating, we got 2y into e power minus y square u of y. So from the definition of density, conditional density, joint density by fy of y is fx of x by y. So this is joint conditional density function in x and f of y of y by x is joint density function by fx of x. Already we have evaluated fx of x also that is 2x into e power minus x square into u of x square. Upon simplifying this, we got the conditional density as simply to evaluate the conditional density function in x or y that is fx of x by y or fy of y by x. So, we need marginal density functions. It means we have to first we have to evaluate the marginal density functions from the joint density function using this formula. fx of x is integration of joint density with respect to y. Similarly, fy of y can be evaluated from the joint density as integration is with respect to x. So, like that after finding out the marginal density functions by using this formula that is fxy of x comma y by fy of y. Similarly, fy of y by x is the joint density function fxy of x comma y by fx of x. So, we can evaluate the conditional distribution, uh, sorry, conditional density functions like this. So, we will see one more problem which is the joint probability density function of x and y is given as 1 by 18 into e power minus of x by 6 plus y by 3 for x greater than or equals to 0 and y greater than or equals to 0. That means x limits are from x limits are given as from 0 to infinity since x greater than or equals to 0. Similarly, y limits are also from 0 to infinity. Density function is given show that x and y are independent random variables. 
that means joint density function is given we have to show the x and y are independent so to prove the independency joint density function must be equals to the product of individual density functions that means marginal density functions it means so we have to evaluate the marginal density that is fi of y fi of y is nothing but the integration of the joint density with respect to x so integrate with so here limits are both x and y limits are from 0 to infinity so take limits 0 to infinity 1 by 18 into e power minus x by 6 into e power minus y by 3 dx so y limits e power minus y by 3 by 18 is constant evaluate the integration for e power minus x by 6 that is e power minus x by 6 by minus 1 by 6 substitute the limits are infinity and 0 then we will get e power minus y by 3 by 3 is the density function marginal density function in y similarly evaluate marginal density function in x fx of x is integrate the joint density function with respect to y so x function is constant e power minus x by 6 by 18 is a constant find the integral for e power minus y by 3 that is e power minus y by 3 by minus 1 by 3 substitute the limits infinity and 0 this after simplifying this that means after substituting by substituting upper limit e power minus infinity is 0 minus e power 0 is 1 so minus of minus 1 by minus 1 by 3 that means in this expression if we substitute infinity and 0 we will get 3 lines. so the density function in x is 1 by 6 into e power minus x by 6 to find the product of these two functions the marginal density functions fx of x and fy of y the product is equals to 1 by 18 into e power minus of x by 6 plus y by 3 so which is equals to the joint density function so marginal density functions the product of marginal density functions it is equals to the joint density function given in the problem so x and y are independent so if you observe the previous papers from the jn2k so most of the times this checking independency and checking the validity of the density function only these two problems are given in the previous papers so in the next class i will discuss about the sum of two random variables and central limit theorem which is related to sum of several random variables